It didn't came in, man. Just a little simple cardboard box. Nothing major. Nothing major. Just saying what it is. It was in this little cardboard. It Look, $40 controller. Come on, bro. What you expect, bro? You don't get no case for it. You get a sticker. You get Xbox Game Pass. Boop. I'm definitely going to use that because, yeah, save some money on <laughs> And you got the little instruction manual. So, it, it basically tell you going on here. You can alter the controller like you can like customize it fully on here. So that's what we're about to do. English, whatever. I ain't do that from defense, whatever. Confirm. All right, let's do. Let's update it first. Update it. I mean, how I feel in my hand is super light. I actually say it's lighter than the actual Xbox controllers that come with the Xbox. Way lighter. Don't feel like I'm holding anything. Which I don't necessarily like. I'm used to the weight of the Elite controller, but beggars can't be choosers. It's a forty dollar controller. It's forty dollars for a reason. But I would say, just by touching these analogs, they feel like the Elite controller analogs. But like you know how you turn them all the way up and make them as stiff as possible. That's how they feel. They feel real good. That feel real good. I ain't gonna lie. I can see, yeah, this this would be a good controller for a fight night. Now, if I break it, look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm I broke it. Like I'm not gonna bullshit. So I'm gonna put it to the test today. Most controllers don't last a couple months, especially when you playing fight nights. See if I had them elite controllers playing Call of Duty or something, now I'd be straight. But no, fight night is different. <laughs> fight night different when it comes to the analogs. I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah, I'm going to put it to the test, man. I mean, it feel like plastic. The very light, cheap kind of plastic. Not going to lie to you. The actual buttons. Buttons feel decent. Oh, shit. I'm pressing plenty of shit. My bad, y'all. Uh, buttons feel decent. Decent vibrate. Eh. All right, let's do profile. Because it's updated. I couldn't figure. All right, button mapping. I'll leave it. Let's do the sticks. All right, what I do? What I need to do? That's what the button mapping is. Bumpers change the mapping or something. All right, as you can see, no stick drift in this joint right now. No stick drift at all. Uh, that's me. That's me. Yeah, zero, zero percent. Perfectly centered. These must feel good, though. I ain't gonna lie. Raw. Don't say raw. All right, lipsticks maximize. All right, so how I do that? Oh no. feel good like what am i doing here am i changing where it starts oh okay let me see how that feel so i can make this controller as well that's a Okay, so the dead zone bigger. Okay, I don't want it like that. I want it as soon as I touch that joint, it is gone. 
steps. That help with your side steps and your back steps and your, that type of, you know, genre type shit. So as soon as I touch this motherfucker, it's doing something. <laughs> That's how I want it on both. Okay, so that, that okay. Bet, bet. No, oh, come on, come on, bro. Come on, go back to sticks. Oh, come on, please. It get a little funky with moving around because it switched between the D-pad and the actual stick itself. So, so I'm using the stick to move around and it's moving. Now I'm using the D-pad. It's kind of... Uh, kind of interesting. I want it raw. Yeah, good. Uh, all right. I'm gonna lock that in. Now I want to go up to the trigger pulls. Pause. No, oh, go back in. Go back in. My bad, y'all. This shit is a little more clumsy than I'm. You know, or I'm just clumsy. I should say. They said on hair trigger right now. So I guess I don't have to press the thing down that much. Okay, because I'm used to bottoming out the trigger. So I guess that's cool. I don't like that they don't have, um, what's that? Not hair triggers, but the trigger stops. That would be a good thing for this controller. So next entry was get trigger stops. That's really, really the most thing I like about the Elite controller is it got trigger stops. Cause I don't like to push the trigger all the way now. I just like to like touch it. I like to touch it and I keep doing it. That helped me not break the trigger. Cause when you start, ah, 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 you're going to break the trigger eventually type shit. But it'd be like that. Uh, uh I don't, I don't care about the vibration. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't care about none of this either. I could remap probably my B and X button to the back back uh triggers for my uh hooks but nah i'll leave them alone whoa my head fell oh damn nah i I need my headphone jack. All right, I guess that's done. We are done here, man. We are done here. It's updated. It's ready to go. So let's hop into the gameplay, bro. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna keep y'all here for too long. Oh damn! I don't think y'all seen none of that. <laughs> Y'all seen me, but y'all ain't seen none of that. Hold on. I got to go back. Got to go back. Hold on, man. My bad, y'all. That's the bad thing about doing this shit in real time. Gangsters, I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes you do this shit. Shit don't do what you tell it to do. Hold on. That sucks. All right, let me show y'all what I was talking about. I updated it here. It's updated to the latest version. Boop. Did that already. Uh, then I went to profiles. This is what I was messing with. All that talking I was doing. You can remap the buttons. I'm not going to do that. But this is what I was talking about. As far as the initial dead zone and shit with sticks. As you can see, it's not drifting at all right now. I just tapped it. Don't, don't mind that. But it's not drifting. At all at this particular moment. It's not drifting. Well, 6%, 4%. Left stick drifting. This stick drifting. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know what it's doing right now. But it's doing something. Oh, I'm shaking the controller. It's sensitive. It's sensitive as hell right now. I'm shaking it. I'm shaking it. Don't don't trip. <laughs> All right, so let me put a dead zone back in it because it, it's, it's going to do that. All right, because it's catching my hand vibrations. All right, so let's go to the stick. Let's press, uh, no, 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 no. What I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do. Oh, I got to go down. 
All right, I gotta put the dead zone in there. Um, it was at ten. All right, ten. That's the dead zone. And I'm gonna move over to the other one. Set that in. All right, back out of that. Go over here. I'm gonna set it back to ten. Cause it's set, so any slight movements go capture. So put that dead zone back in there. So just in case I'm shaking the stick, I'm not moving type shit. Put the dead zone back. But that's how sensitive you can make the controller to where you can shake it and it register like your hand could be trembling. It register. You can make them that sensitive. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'll keep backing out of that. All right, got the dead zones. Uh, you can mess with the triggers. These are super. I want mine super sensitive because I don't want to have to press the trigger all the way down. My pump block. This will be my pump block type shit. Spiking. Only thing bad about the controller, it don't got, you know, trigger stops. I said that already. But that's all I did, y'all. Y'all missed that whole part. That was I'm gonna have to cut and edit that. It'd be like that though, bro. That's part of streaming, bro. L streamer be like that. Alright, but in order to increase the hertz rate of the controller, I would have lost my headphone jack, which I don't want to. I can't use the original, you know. It got the adjustments for the headphones already attached to the thing, but this you can control with the controller. So let me mess with it. I can control like the chat type shit. The game sound. I'm going to have to play with that in game. But, yeah, let's get to it, man. I want to play. <clears throat> Whoa, shit. That's one thing I like about the controller, actually, is you can do all this stuff. It's integrated into the controller. Turn the game sound down. Sound, yeah, nope, turn that shit back up. There we go. That's decent. <clears throat> EA right. Sports. Let's get to, to it. Game. Hopefully, somebody pop on talking shit. I'll turn that up. But yeah, man, it, it feels super light, bro. It feels empty in the inside. I feel like ain't nothing in it. Got a nice cable, though. Give him that. It's comparable to the Elite tether cable, but ain't nothing, ain't nothing too special about it. I mean, other than, the, look, I got it for the sticks, because I got a stick drift bad in my Elite one, so those are dead for this game. I don't even think I could play any other game with the stick drift being so bad. And, well, one got stick drift, the other one got a broken trigger, so hopefully I can fix one with the broken trigger, get that one back up, probably try to order a some new parts or something for the one with the stick drift. I I have to look online real deep. I don't feel like it. I only feel like fixing it because I hate fixing stuff. Even though I like fixing stuff, sometimes it's a headache, bro. I just don't. I don't got the patience for it right now. Got to catch me on the day where I have nothing, nothing to do, or I'm looking for something to do. That'd be the best day to do that. Um. All right, no XP. Let's hop into it, man. I wasn't going to stream today, but I'm going to stream, man. Damn, I don't got to cook. I need to cook. Hold on, y'all. Oh, never mind. I'll just wait until after a fight. Fuck it. Uh, I'm not fighting you, bro. Should I fight him, y'all? Nah. You don't fight nobody with belts. Rule number one. If they got a belt, let them keep it. Type shit. I probably should have fought him. But I already know. It's either a push spammer or like a mod spammer. One of the two. 
anybody with a belt don't necessarily play straight up. I haven't met one yet. How about that? I'll just say that. I haven't met one yet that plays straight up. Or, you know. Yeah. You get up there and get a little nasty. So. <clears throat> I ain't even trying to take the little face off of you. Oh, I got a magnetic face. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. A face plate. I like how easy that came off. And these pop right off too. You can see inside that motherfucker. Uh, yeah. That's dope. I fucks with it. Now if that whole that whole little uh if that whole set, that whole circuit part was detachable and you could replace then yeah, this would be one of the ones. Just in case when it do go out, you can just pop. Pop a new one in, your controller still work. That'd be dope as hell. Not gonna lie. I mean, for a 40 dollar controller, it got a lot of features. You got a lot of features on it. So, hopefully it play Fight Night well. It feel a little small in my hand, too. But the leaf feels small, too. Get some, like, rubber grips or something. Because the plastic, yeah. I don't really like the plastic, but... I'm not begging the truth. I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion about the controller. Now we're about to get some gameplay in. Anything that comes to my mind, I'm going to say it. But right now, I haven't done anything. So I can't tell y'all to buy it per se. But the analogs feel good. They feel real snappy and yeah, they feel good. Yeah, I'm going to fight him just because. Come on. We, we fighting or no, G? This nigga. Hey, that mic. Like, I can hear my mic in my headphones real real hard. I don't know if I got it turned up or what. I might turn that down. <clears throat> but let's get it. I want to hit this jack because it's Sunday, man. I'm, I got to get in barbecue vibes. Oh, don't mind the wrinkles in my shirt, y'all. Wash it and I, I, I folded it. We don't hang dry around here. Welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. I turn that uh turn them that I be do before I be do that it is simply time to fight zoning in on that I remember whooping your ass you remember me Banks is turning into a star in this sport why because he has power the one thing that people want to see what should we expect to see of that power early on? Hey, y'all. Uh, hey. Analogs feel good as hell. Not gonna lie. Take that power and get it to the target. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good defensive skill. I'm still bottoming out the bottoming out the trigger when I press it. I just gotta get lighter with my fingers. I'm just used to. I'm just used to pressing it hard, not on purpose, cause I'm trying to press it fast. So fast and hard equate in my head. So pause. Right back downstairs. Tucks those elbows in. Blocks the body shot. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, so this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. He gives as well 
well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Well, I'm definitely. I, I will do it as before. I remember, but you know, he's not good. He, he want to try to counter fish you and shit, but it, it's weird. The night before, when they take us out to a steak dinner, yeah, I don't you know, know if I won that round. Either. It was a nasty yeah, round. I was more <laughs> trying to see yeah, how the controller was moving instead of really focusing <laughs> in on the fight. <laughs> they do. <laughs> These guys they don't have the reach. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wall. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table. But great guys. All right, come on. Here we go. Round two is underway. Right back to the work up top. And now he's targeting upstairs. Carries that punch intended for the head. The midst of the straight right. Here's the moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Resourceful one-two combo by May. Vicious is hit by a big left hand. He is swinging for the fences, trying to, and yet another big shot from yeah, I remember your ass. I told you cut that shit out last time, too. Guess what you did? You ain't listen. Still doing that same shit, bro. One, GG ahead of time. Two. Ass whooping coming his way. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid Fuck you, the nigga. like the Black Plague. Come on. Now I'm going to just beat on you. Fuck you, man. Come on. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. That's how you look. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Lame ass nigga. This nigga's trash. Do it again. Come on, get me. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We hit him off. Exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. Stupid ass big Come on, oh. jab, jab, jab. Vicious has got to do a better job. He is getting rocked. Come on. Good defense. I got to play with you. Stay away from that offensive assault. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. <laughs> End of this round. Oh, oh he lame as hell. What up? What up? What up? Man, I gotta, man, cause he liked the look. He liked the counterfish. That's not that I want to even hit him in the body. He likes to do that wiggle after a little combo. Look, see that he do that shit. So he counterfishes. So I hit with don't move. I ain't trying to waste punches. Good job staying away from the danger there. Get your weak ass. is doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he a little stupid. Come on. Earlier, and you can see him almost wishing Can't fuck with me, bro. Stupid ass. Badly there. He may hit the floor. And just because you're trying to headbutt me and shit, I'm going to make it last long, too. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid. Oh, you got me one. You gonna knock me down? You're too stupid. No other sport shows retribution right in front of you so quickly, so impactfully. Double him up. My my health low. My health is low. A well placed gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Banks is doing well here with that two punch combination. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged.
Good counter. And now they're trading blows. Good job on the two punch combo by Bane. How about that? He lands a big shot there. Set the table and he went and ate. Let's play stupid. This fun. Let's get it. I don't mind. This this is fun to me. I want to play stupid with him. It's more entertaining. I don't want to win right away. He deserved this though. Cause last time we fought, I told him to stop doing that shit. But he want to keep doing it. So it is what it is. Okay, listen. It's going to come forward this round. He done learn how to pot a body punch keep though. This All fight. Right, I need you to keep moving. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let me end it. Let me stop playing. Round number four is underway. All right, Teddy's come got on. a clean sweep. Banks has taken the first three rounds. And Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator, but in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches, and that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive, and he's not allowing him to do anything back. It's actually, it's Teddy, actually cool. I don't okay, prefer having to pull a trigger, advantage. you know, all the way. I like trigger stops, but other than that, it's performing well. well. Because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets carried away. I feel like every time I slap, move the stick, I move. So, I could turn it up, like the Hertz level. I could turn that up, but I'll lose my mic. So, it'll probably even respond even faster if I do that. He might get caught. There might be a and the fact there. that it's a wire well, controller ain't much delay, so that that probably make make it feel like I'm cheating, <laughs> like I can get shit off real fast. But this shit feel good, man. It's light. I like a heavier controller, but for forty dollars, of course, it's gonna be light. They gotta save my material. So. There's a straight right. Oh man, he caught me with three of those. I saw him too. Well, he may be in bad shape. Trigger pull is super responsive. All of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, trigger pull is super responsive. It's a metaphor for life. You know, something. All right, I gotta watch this right. Outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. You want to spam straight, bitch? I'm better at that than you too. Does he have enough this time? Get your bitch ass up, man. Unfortunately, you just suck. So get your bitch ass back up, bro. Get up. I'm already tired of your shit. Knock a lot too. Yeah, it feel good. Forty dollars, you can't beat it. I mean, now, now the real test is gonna be the test of time. If it develops some stick drift in there, then now, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But right now, it's good. It's brand new, so. I don't feel it failing like I'm over pressing nothing, so what a revealing feel round good. Each man was able to hurt the other. He wanna he wanna he straight really spam me now. They both came here. I mean they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Vicious is sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, and one fight you could compliment him for, Joe. You could say he, he understands who he is. He understands his identity. He's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. It's he gas. Banks is going about these middle rounds with a real solid game plan. And that game plan includes jabbing his way to the inside. And then once he's there, setting up camp. Yeah, you have to wonder. You don't wonder what he's doing. He's doing it right. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Because you're a bitch. Treat you like one. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Treat you like a bitch right quick. Come on, little, little piggy. Don't run from me. Very accurate two punch combo. Oh, man. good, good shot, good shot. Good shot, come on. Don't run. Why are you running from me, little piggy? 
You trying to hit me with that straight so bad. Another flush shot up top. Round number five, last ten seconds. Do that again. That look good. Do that one more time. Little piggy running from me. Three minutes gone by in this That's round. That's okay. Banks is well conditioned to the realities of this party. You keep trying to headbutt me. I don't like that. You keep trying to straight spam me. I don't like that. So I'm going to just, I'm gonna just chase him around there and have him scared. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that blunt, but time and time again, oh, yeah. he just gets shocked. He definitely don't like the fact that he can't do what he wants to. I fought him before. He remember me now. I was talking to him crazy then. Because first time we fought, he caught me. He knocked me down the first round. Because he tried to counterfish you. And all I got to do is really select my shots. He just go punch himself out. And bring your ass on, bro. You're not a good counter puncher, bro. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. See? The guy's Stupid. walking in right now, not See? moving his head much. He can oh, time I ain't gonna hit on you no more. Oh, I made him quit. It'd be like that. Be ashamed of yourself. Cause you pussy. I made him quit. Quit doing it. I hate niggas who try to counterfeit you. And then when you start whooping that ass, they get mad at you and back out the match. Fuck you, nigga. I'm on that type of time. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> hey, y'all, if y'all new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, man. Quit playing with me, though. Y'all go get y'all one of these little $40 hollers on phone now. It's a good ass controller. No forty dollar holla. I should have got three of these motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now I the real review gonna be after like a month or two. That's when I start noticing like my inputs not going in on my controller, all that type of shit. That's when I really start noticing. Like you hear me saying like, damn, my punch ain't getting thrown type shit. Now if you hear me start saying that, don't buy that shit, cause. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to take a hit of my drink, and I don't got no cup, and I don't want y'all to see me drink out the bottle because that's some hood shit. Don't mind me. I forgot to bring a glass over here. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Kids, don't do drugs. Got to be inspirational now. Jab straight. Round one is underway. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Banks, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Big left hand. Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joey can't use his legs right now, so he wishes, and it's too late for him because he wasn't taught, but he wishes he was a guy who was taught how to slip. Right? Oh, he, what a big shot. All right, so this ass whooping going to be specially tailored to your ass since you wanted them jab straight niggas. Come get this work, bitch. I ain't playing with niggas today. Get your bitch ass up, bro. Jab straight niggas don't get no love over here. Ruiz has climbed back up from the canvas, may inspire him. Little head knocking with that right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Damn dummy. Don't you think my straight better than yours, bro? Now we can box or we can have a straight off. It's on you, but you gonna lose every time. Figure it out. Damn dummy. We gonna have a straight off. And I'm straighter than you. That means you're what? No Diddy. Come on, man. Quit playing with me. Man, get up. I ain't even hit you that hard. 
I ain't hit you that hard, man. Get your ass up, man. I ain't even hit this bitch ass that hard, bro. Quit playing. All right, go get it. He quit out. Trash. Trash. You want to have a straight off? <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta pin that. He wants to have a straight off with the kid. Fucking. I can't even say my derogatory terms that I would love to use at this particular moment, but I don't use them. Hmm. I ain't fucking with no head moving. Let's get that chin up. Nah. What should I do, y'all? Right upper. I don't. I don't even. I rarely use my uppercuts. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, jab to the body. That's a waste of punch. I ain't gonna waste that. Cause that's that's a sit up punch. That I never rock somebody. Uh. Left hook to the body. Right hook to the. Controller is showing proof right now. Because it's throwing my punches when I want them bitches thrown. And I'm rocking, niggas. It's like I switch between the buttons and the sticks when I'm playing. It depends on how heated the game is. Like, if I need to be precise, like I, don't, I can't accidentally throw an uppercut, I use the buttons. If I don't care and I can really just throw, throw. I use the stick, cause some of them stick combos come out different. Come out a little hot. Yeah, get your bitch ass out of there, cuz. I'm on that. No, I'm playing. No, I don't even know folks, but I wanna talk shit to him though. I don't know folks, but I wanna talk shit to him though. Hold on, let me hit the Yakker 10 again. I'm gonna have to go get a cup. Come on, gang. We can fight. Like, I don't got that much over him for him to be backing out. I understand that. We can definitely get it on. Pause. Y'all heard the Drake this, man? How y'all feel about the Drake this, bro? I, I low-key like it. I ain't know so many niggas dissed them recently, though. Them some hoe-ass niggas. Y'all wasn't saying that shit. Forever. Now y'all want to diss him at the same time. Are we witnessing the first rap beef where one rapper is getting jumped? Is they jumping niggas? We respecting niggas jumping niggas? I'm just saying. What's going on? <clears throat> we going to get a Kendrick Lamar diss in like two months and shit. Seven months and shit. That that nigga slow on the music side of the game. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like if we had to keep one rapper, it would not be Kendrick Lamar because you would not get music. An album every four years. That's kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That well in nineties. Nah, even in nineties they came out every other year. So you got one every two. You get one every four with this nigga. We'll be listening to the same motherfucking music for four years. Yeah, no, nah, we can't do that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, we can get that fight going, bro. What did you backing out for? You, you can't be that scared, bro. You gotta take a risk. Because I am gonna whoop your ass, but damn, bro. Take that risk, bro. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't duck that fade, though. If that was my fade, I wouldn't duck it. I ain't gonna lie. 84? I only got a two-inch reach advantage on you, bro. Come on. <sighs> Not the server on a Sunday. Empty, bro. 1,500 niggas on here, bro. Ain't none for me. Pause. I can't find a match. Me. Me. 
Bro, fight me, bro. What are you doing? Oh, I think I beat his ass before. He know who I am. Probably no. I don't care. I'm talking shit. Damn, I keep dropping. Oh, well, I used all my points, but still. Bro, bring it up. I don't think I'm going to get a fight. I'm going to have to go to head to head. And I don't like playing head to head at all. <clears throat> All I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna end up doing is fighting Mike Tyson all day. Bro, we keep matching, bro. Box, bro. We keep matching, bro. Let's get it, bro. No, you too scared, bet. Scary ass nigga. Look, I'm pressing real fast so we match again. You hear me? Why well, keep my so it's only three niggas right here? <sighs> See, this is the bad part. Sometimes I can get on here and match, 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 match. Sometimes I get on here and it's like five niggas on. It be like that. It's an old ass game, twelve year old game, bro. What you expect? Thirteen, if you considering two thousand eleven, it came out in December or something like that. Dang it, yeah, like thirteen, but you know what I'm saying? I still want to scuffle with some of you niggas. I ain't trying to wrestle over the cornflakes, though, like Diddy and Usher, though. I'm not trying to wrestle over the cornflakes. I'm not trying to do that. But I do want to scuffle with you. I ain't going to lie. I'm trying to get a good scuffle in, cuz. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You got to pray to the fight night guys that you run into a... 84 overall with an 82 inch reach. I mean, 72 inch reach. And won a box. And I spell. Amen. That's what I pray for when I hop on here, bro. Seventy-seven and thirty-seven. What's that record? Like, what? What's my percentage right now? Yeah, I don't know why he don't want to, man. He, I, I'm pretty sure I fought him before. And it didn't end well for him, but you should be trying to come back and get it back in blood type shit. That's like as close as you go get in far, as far as fight night matchups. One point difference, two inches on reach. Come on, bro. I, hey, I understand if you only want to do this. You decide. Me doing that, bro, you gonna lose. If you doing that, just back out, bro. I I'll show you, though. I'm gonna beat your ass. It's gonna happen to you. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I have to let you know. If you if you trying to see punch stats, you definitely gonna get your ass beat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never did that, bro. I ain't never pull up the punch stats like, let me see yours. <laughs> all these niggas is not competitive at all. Y'all some hoes. Y'all some hoes on the server, bro. Come on, man. Y'all making me sick, bro. I'm, I'm getting very disappointed in the server, bro. I'd rather play some spammers right now. At least they are fighting. Shit, fuck. I'm only at 85. What the fuck? Take some of my attributes off or something? I'll be like a 79 or something. Damn, y'all caught me hitting the yak. Fuck it. I'm hitting the yak now. What? They done kicked me. They done kicked me off fight night. Y'all just seen them kick me off fight night, bro. What they on with me? It's 56 fights in progress, bro. Come on. Damn, he at 89. Should I take this, y'all? He got some shit on me. Fuck it. I want to fight. I want to fight. <clears throat> I'll take an L if I have to. I don't give a fuck. At this point, I just want to get a match in. Good evening, everybody. Glad
I'm coming out boxing, bro. I don't got no choice. Yeah, 89, bro. I don't know what his reach was. I probably should have looked in there. It's going to be a tough fight regardless. If he trash, I'm going to wash his bitch ass. He probably come out and try to get me out early. If he do that, that's going to be a mistake on his part. What? Dude trying to have a scar on his face like me and shit. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. Let me find out he live on the resi. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Well, don't expect him to stay away from the body for long. He has been talking all week long about his want to land those straight shots. Bro, I ain't showing you nothing. Well, accountants been telling him, go out there and invest in CDs. And that's what it's like. You go to the body, and it pays off for you later on, down the road. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. You're trying to hit me and run, bro. This is going to be one of those. I'm up still, so I'm good. Halfway through this round here. He wanna lean back. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Banks. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good exchange. He fires back. Johnson's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Nice block by El Terrible. Last 10 yeah, seconds like of this first seat. round. A crushing two-punch combo by Johnson. Banks has got to find a way to land more of these. <clears throat> okay he blocking everything. Punches, but not if they're just drifting off the screen. It's like he throw, he lean. That lean back with the block is kind of super efficient, especially when I'm throwing to the head. He keeping a distance so far, I can't even throw to the body that good. El Terrible's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Nice block by El Terrible. Would you rather have a fighter who's feared? Or a fighter who's fearless. I feel like I'm talking to Sonny from the Bronze Tail, but I think that I would rather. Have... El Terrible is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Nice. Nice. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Johnson. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Banks is tagged by a hook. El Terrible is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Nice block by Banks. Able to land the hook. Hey, he can hit on the double up of that straight every time. Oh, what a whiff by El Terrible. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This round can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. Targeting that one-two. Blocks that belt line well. Banks' punch is far off the target. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good block by El Terrible. 
Damn, I want to do the four, the four body straight. I threw it and it was short. I didn't move forward. I didn't take the step. Getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cut man? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually, avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe the oh, oh, what a left hand! Banks absorbing a hook. Banks is trying to survive this. He is taking. He gonna get me fucked. Is he right-handed or left? Well, I can't hit him with my left, but he can hit me with his. Let me watch what he's doing when I'm doing that. He throwing the, the, the one power. So whatever punch he throw first ain't it. Next one, a power shot. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Get rid of that body shot. Come on, baby. Use your feet. El Terribles. Can't like that. <laughs> he had to throw. All right, left hook. He scored well after being hit himself. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Super two-punch combo by Johnson. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. My shit, my wind-up slow as hell. Banks' blocking ability is doing well for him there. Lance flush with the two punch combo by Yeah, he's just throwing in place. Great movement to get away from those punches. Ten seconds to go in this yeah. round. <clears throat> yeah, we both saw Paul. You know what you I don't want to see you outside of it. All right, I'm going to switch it. Fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you gets the round. El Terrible is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Let's go out there now. Come on now. Let me see Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Bang. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. I think he got slight reach advantage. I should have looked. I could tell when he throw it straight. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Banks. He just missed that shot up top. Man, his reflex is good as hell. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Keep moving. Keep moving. Banks is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Johnson's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. El Terrible has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do is always make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when the guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your... He won that round, I think, too. Up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Around the wing, baby. He's blocking everything. That shit annoying. Side 
Yeah, you blocking everything. I don't like it. Snakes is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. There's that overhand right. Got you with two that time, bitch. Come on. This is a little chess match. I kind of like it. I'm mad I can't get through his guard, though. But it'd be like that. Landing two jabs by Banks. See why the straight didn't land though. Halfway mark of this three minute round. Keep working, keep working. El Terrible is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Banks is finding out right now that this counter punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter punch. I mean, he's not he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Nice combo by El Terrible. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. I can't get through his fucking, uh... I can't get through his block. Yeah, I gotta hit him, motherfucker. <laughs> the start of the sixth round. It's that... It's the lean back when I'm close. Absolutely everything through the first half of this fight. Can he keep it up? Look, see, he do the lean. You can't really get through that shit. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by El Terrible. Johnson's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They're the ones that wind up landing. Counter one, though, small as hell. Banks, combination punching is working well here. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Bruh, how my jab not intercepting that straight? Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to track him down. Big shot. Yeah, I can't intercept. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. I don't know how to do that type of move, and I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not good at that. Not good at it. That's why I don't do it. Banks's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill sometimes. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Bro, I just hit him with some three punch. Three punch combo, and he come back with a power straight. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody. Yeah, that's that's tough. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. There's the combo downstairs. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Side to side. Keep moving. Keep moving. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Banks. One 
See how my jab, my jab getting picked off. At the halfway point of round seven. Unable to land clean mm. by Banks. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Reflex is stupid. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Keep moving. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there for getting hit. Bang's game plan was to get to the inside and score and have success with a power punching on the inside, Teddy. It's not happening. So what is the answer? Well, first of all, why Bro, come on, bro. That was a big shot that Florida Jab land. My shit be landing. He just be chucking through my shit, though. It be like that. <clears throat> Clearly, it's a difference in power here. And that's the end of round seven. Yeah, he got it. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I boxed that whole entire round. Lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. He just looks like the kind of guy that's not going to be defeated tonight. No, he's made up his mind. And he didn't make his mind up, you know, and this is for the young fighters out there and whatever you aspire to do to move forward. He didn't make up his mind tonight. It was made up way before he got in the ring, and it's showing. He's getting the payoff. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Bang. Move it. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Good return fire that time. That wasn't a counter? <laughs> That's not a counter? Okay. It's fishy now, y'all. It's fishy now. So those wasn't counter shots? 90 seconds to go. Halfway through round eight. Those ain't counter shots? Beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. That's crazy. That wasn't a counter. That wasn't a counter. That's crazy. Banks is showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through it. So I don't get counters. That's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are gonna get counter. Counter. Damn. Your opponent is gonna stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. I'm pulling his straight and it's still landing. I'm pulling the straight and it's still landing. Not that one, but I'm pulling that motherfucker and it ain't nothing happening. It's still landing. It's like I gotta run from it. That's weird. I know I'm pulling it. Still landing. Watch this. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Yeah, they on some bullshit with that shit. His reputation is that of a guy who likes to punish an opponent. Well, and he's got a smile on his face tonight. Because all night long, that's all he's done. I don't know too many guys who don't like to punish their opponents. Show me one that does Man, he blocking everything. It don't seem like he working too hard. He blocking all the punches, bro. around in which he was shook up really bad he hit the canvas again he needs things to change he gets off with a combination up top johnson's ability to just oh banks is down he took a combination that he couldn't survive yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know when i throw a jab to intercept his straight, his shit beat my jab. When I throw a jab to intercept his straight, his shit come through full force. Oh, well, never mind. I'm saying when he throw his jab to stop my straight, it stopped my straight completely. So is his jab turned up? 
knockout. It didn't but feel like that know. kind of fight, Teddy. I thought we were going. I don't to know, but I also noticed some counter shit that was weird. I'm throwing counter shots, and I and he didn't get no dub either. I may have been playing the mod to be like that, cause ain't nobody blocked that good. Cause my block is maxed out. I'll show you. My shit maxed out, and everything he was throwing down there was coming through. I couldn't touch this nigga, and I'm throwing a weird ass combo, so he can't even anticipate what type of shots coming, and he blocks the whole combo on multiple occasions. So, I mean, I ain't gonna say am I, but he didn't get no dub though. He didn't get the win on his end, or it's not on my record. One or two, but man, whatever. I just wanted to fight. So, yeah. I was going to fight him regardless. Tough fight. No, it was going to be tough. I do. You just can't block everything regardless of what you do, bro. Shit go come through. I don't think it's supposed to be 100%. When I, bro. When I'm telling you, I was trying to catch that straight. It was hitting me in the fucking face. I got to run. I can't sit there and pump block and that shit coming through. That don't make sense. I got to get the fuck up out of here. If I can't catch him, I got to get out of here. That's that's just the rules. I'm sitting there pump blocking. I'm getting knocked out in the first round. I hear what you're saying. Me hearing what you're saying and me being able to do it is, is a difference. That's, that's pretty much all I'm saying. It's a difference, bro. I tried. Didn't work. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I got to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When it was 100%, that power straight was coming through, and it kept dropping me. So I can't even sit in front of it and play those eyes to me pump blocking. I got to get out of there. I got to make sure he can't throw that bitch. Hear what you're saying, though. Completely hear you. But nah, pump block, yeah, nah. His shit was coming through. Even his jab was too. Once that jab come through, the next punch definitely go land. That's why he start jab power straight. Alright, this nigga got different animations and shit. What the hell? Might be another mod. Or my first mod of the day. I ain't gonna put mod on bro, but... Them counters was weird. I wasn't getting. I ain't gonna put it on though. He beat my ass. Damn, we gotta watch the whole thing. What are we watching, bro? What is we doing? Can we fight? Can we fight? God damn. Ali. Okay. So, we definitely got an outside fighter, bro. He Ali to the fullest right now. He Ali'd out. He Ali'd out, gentlemen. Ah, damn. Backwards. Oh, no, he came forward. Here's the first. He loves popping that jab. I mean, he will target your head and set up everything else off of that punch well he pulls you back a little bit off the jab and then he fools you a little bit you know he's a little bit of a magician a little sleight of hand then he oh makes you feel like i couldn't hit him with all right there one step back and then i felt like i should have three counters already that hook was well off head movement is a hundred percent gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body and he does that <laughs> No count. Did y'all just see that? No counter. Oh my god. They playing with me now. They playing with me, y'all. No counter. <laughs> That's crazy. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by the greatest. Banks' punch didn't come close. Good way to protect the midsection. That's crazy. Nice block by the greatest. The 
greatest landing a combination here. Body spam straight to the top. Best. Keep working that jab, baby. Bang, well off the mark that time. There's the combo to the body. Well timed by Bang. Took a step back, landed the counter. Punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Bro, come on, man. They still in my counters, bro. Always interesting. I do you pump block. Play out in our fights. Teddy, it's always great. It's just you tapping it. You tapping it. You tapping it. You really trying to tap every time they hit you. So you want to keep your block almost engaged all the time, but not. It's hard to explain, bro. It's really. I could say you tapping it because that's not really even all the way it. If you see my gloves, how they come down and go back up, I'm refreshing my block. It's called pumping it. So you want a fresh block every time he throw up any type of punch, if you can manage it. Oh, we both south balls. I ain't mean to do that. I mean, I ain't mean to do that either. I'm really trying to switch my stances. He trying to body spam me though. But why I can't hit his with a counter punch when he missed that shit? He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the greatest. Banks' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. He missed with that headshot. I warned you about I didn't try to do that shit. I didn't try to do that shit. Banks is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. My straights really ain't doing shit to him though. Banks is left now getting into the mix. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Banks doing well here with that two punch combination. The greatest getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's gonna try to move on him. So start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. I breathe for me. Deep breath. Oh, he double quadrupling on everything. Okay. I'm going to let him throw him. Because if the game plan as the game should, he should gas out, right? He throwing too much. I'm going to let him throw them body hooks. Got away from that uppercut. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna let him throw it. I'm gonna let him throw it. I'm gonna get my shots in between. I'm gonna drain his ass. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Makes his left landing well. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Putting forth a great combination there. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by the greatest. The greatest is going well with the hook on the inside again. But Teddy, I'm looking at it saying I can't believe nothing's coming back at him. There's got to be the opportunity there to counter that, right? There is an opportunity, especially because he's taking a picture a little bit. You know, he's it's like he shots I know should be landing, not, but it. I ain't go, I ain't go, I ain't go trip off of it. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control, there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Watch that. You can see 
He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Very nice work from both men. They Bro, he ain't slowing down. <laughs> he ain't slowing down. He should. Find the target. Get the combination working. Land both punches. Bro. The greatest is right hand. Come on, bro. <laughs> Bro, he's not slowing down, bro. Bro, he should be gassing, but he's not. The greatest is up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off him, just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him as the fight goes on? Comes right back at him with a left hand. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for me. Stay focused on the inside. Not able to land the uppercut. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Bruh. Just like, just like. How about that left Bro, hand? He blocked all that shit. Fires right back at him. That's a razor shot. He blocked shot all that shit. By the greatest. Great work offensively landing that combination by the greatest. Nice. Strike after catching one by the greatest. That shot lands with a hook. Bro, is he going is he gonna go to sleep or not, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> going to the body there. The greatest so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Bro, he punching through shit. <laughs> he punching through plenty shit. Bro, I just hit him with a power straight. I just hit him with a power straight, bro. Are you serious? This shit, bro. <laughs> bro, I hit his body, bro. He ain't slowing down, bro. That shit still full speed, bro. This is the fifth round. He been punching like that since the first. Very close fight. Yeah, I see it about this Bruh. way, but you just said hook, hook straight. Really hook, hook straight. Now, don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight. And keep Bruh. Pushing, keep pushing. Come on. Right Stay responsible. Stay within yourself, but keep pushing. Banks' his defense has failed him now. Oh man, shot after shot coming in. Good work putting the punches together. Bang, bang, bang by bang. Come on, bro. What am I supposed to do? Ain't no winning this shit. <laughs> Ain't no winning. He pushing and everything, bro. He should be dead. Off the target by Banks. The greatest showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Teddy, he's trying to punch his way out of this damage he's incurred, but that's not the answer. No, he's in a rainstorm. He needs an umbrella. And instead, he's running right out into the rain. Bro, come on, bro. Look at that combination by the greatest. I'm just let this shit go, bro, because... Bro, he should be dead. Final I don't got weak body shot season, bro. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Banks is in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. How about a just in a big uppercut? He's a big, big, big you bitch. Quit playing with me. I'm gonna keep rocking his ass with that month. Bro, this should be stupid, bro. One, two, three. Bro, he shouldn't have had no stand, bro. The way I bop, 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 because he taking damage while he trying to give it, bro. He taking a lot. It shouldn't have went this far. Ain't he an 89? Never mind. I take that back. He an 89. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. 
Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, right. really wet. Let's noodle. go. Throws out the jab and then brings back the uppercut up top. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. The greatest coming out the There it is! You pussy ass nigga. So bitch ass up. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. This nigga tried to sh push straight me 30 times, you pussy ass nigga. Get it up, one. Get it up, get it up, two, three, four, <sighs> five, six, 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 seven. This should be trash. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress. Can't get in the corner no more. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons. Don't run for me, up. bitch. Left hook to the body. Then he comes back with the right hand. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. I think he's gonna. Go wow. Fucking push straight. Oh my God, bro. Bro, they be cheating, bro. How the fuck my hook miss? That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit ass, bro. You still trash as fuck. You still trash as fuck. Trash ass nigga. I, I hate that shit, bro. Bro. Come on, bro. He tricked him into it. He made him walk in a little bit and then I hate this game. I hate this game so bad, bro. Hate this game so bad, bro. Niggas get up with full fucking energy, all type of shit, bro. This shit be wild, bro. It be like that. Bro, one punch always possible in this game, but for some reason I don't get those. <clears throat> it shouldn't have been no flash though. That's what I'm saying. If it should have happened, it should have happened early in the fight. Not in the fucking seventh round. That they be robbing right there. He was trying to do that the whole time when I was in the corner. He kept pushing me. He was trying to line up that push straight. He was about to push straight spam me into a one punch. He probably got one punch power, but Still, even when I got pump, one punch power, I barely got one punches. It'd be like that, though. I ain't tripping. I can't trip. I just, that shit just be ass. The fact that his stem held up so damn long was ass. He throwing, what, 100 punch rounds, getting countered in between. The way the fight started was ass, because I had three counter straights that didn't even do nothing. They didn't even land, and they should have. All these 89s I'm fighting. All right, I ain't fighting no more 89s. <clears throat> but a lot of shit looks suspicious, but I ain't going to put that on them. I'm going to just call him a bitch-ass nigga. I'm just calling that. I ain't going to put mod on them. But he did take a lot of damage. It took a minute before I got knocked down. My straight ain't no joke. My right hook to the head ain't no joke. My straight to the body ain't no joke. And my right hook to the body ain't no joke. And he was eating those as counters. Those got flash knockdown potential. I ain't get a flash knockdown or nothing. I have to work for my little weak ass knockdown. And that shit was trash. And then I knocked him down again. He should have been gas. He should have been sucking wind. Bad thing about OWC, the stam shit is way different over here. Stam shit way different. Head to head stam and this stam is totally different stam uh algorithms or whatever they use. You can really throw two hundred punch rounds over here. I ain't gonna lie to you. Jab straight two hundred times. Don't gas. Do that shit and fucking head to head. Watch what happens. You can do it, but you ain't gonna last more than two or three rounds. 
And move your 89 ass on, bro. I'm not fighting no more 89s today. I just fought two back to back. I think 89 is suspicious, bro. Because why you got an odd ass number, bro? <laughs> why you got that? I got 85. That's odd too, but still, fuck these niggas, bro. I feel like they cheating. <clears throat> feel like they cheating. Man, fuck it. I guess I'm gonna have to go on a losing spree to get fights today. Oh, this shit here. This shit here be oh, annoying. Ooh. Hey, but controller doing good though. The controller doing good. It's holding up. Man, come on, bro. I ain't trying to watch no intros. My bring a bitch ass on. Now comes the wall. Now he gonna make me watch it because I see him. I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna just watch. for 10 rounds tonight between these two. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. A good block. Banks' power has been shown off early on in his fights. Teddy, what effect could his power have early in this fight? Well, if he catches his opponent, it could be an early night. But if he catches his opponent and his opponent survives it, guess what? It could be a long night, fam. Oh, how the fuck, hey, how the fuck did he just grab me? How did he just grab me? How the fuck he just grab me, cuz? But he gives one of his own a left hand scores. On, Little volume punching to the body there. <laughs> Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Fake boxing ass niggas, bro. Come on, bro. What the fuck you doing? <sighs> Jesus. Stupid. Punches together now. That's a nice combination. We lost the round. You can almost see it just by the way of <sighs> down on their stool. All right, we're about to play this weird ass chess match. But we good. I'd rather fight this than fight the uh, unstoppable man. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back oh. against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeat. I'm just keeping my stem at 100. You don't back. Bad yeah, at him. this point. You know, back like that, you have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Uh, hey, I do got TikTok. Yeah, I do. I don't be posting on that joint. I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to, but I just, I, I don't know, bro. I don't do it. That shit a lot of work, bro. <laughs> nice. Nice. I think it's Lazy Gamer or something on there. A nice block by Prince. I do got TikTok, though. Don't be posting over there, because... Well targeted, too yeah. much combo by Banks. I don't know why I, I stopped. 
Why my straights ain't look? Look how my straights look when they land. Look. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? I don't got to do that. Because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, take <clears> a lot of that away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got one, bro. I got one, bro. Appreciate it. I don't really be posting on there. I'm gonna start back though. I need to. I just be easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow. Keeping up with this channel stuff is kind of a job, and I'm not the type of nigga that like to be on the phone a whole lot or checking my shit all day. I like to just you know play this shit, put it down, go live real life for a little bit. Scored well to the body again. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. I think he is a mob, bro. He giving me mob vibes. Down defense, good block that time by Prince. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just oh, I appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate it. Hey. Like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. I hope you know he lost that round too, Prince but. Is putting forth an effort, but he's not being affected in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs. He's not land. throwing. I can't, can't count him. Reminds, he's a banger too. He can punch a little. That's reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Oh, good exchange there. Prince has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. There's the headshot, but he carries it away. Left and right, left and right. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. To the head he goes with a left hand. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Prince. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Keep working the body. Bro, it's like I'm hitting like a wood block when I hit this nigga head, bro. <laughs> How he go to grab me, not grab me, I miss a straight and he pushed me. Prince is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Last 10 seconds. How the fuck? I'm over this game sometimes. His opponent may return. I'm over this game sometimes. Fight tonight, finding himself already in a hole on Teddy's scorecard down. Trash. <laughs> Trash, bro. Me? Hey, he said I was cheating. <laughs> Me? Oh no, I probably I sent him that. I think I don't know. <laughs> If I'm cheating, nah, I appreciate that compliment. Because I be getting my ass whooped. I don't know who you talking to. Woo! Oh, but this nigga, bitch. I got to tell him he's a bitch. Let me, let me tell him he's a bitch. What did he say to me first before I say something? Let me see. I don't know what that means. He probably cussing me out. I'm telling me trash.
Because he was trash. I was just go pointy. Because he was just going to run from me and try to counter me. Come on, send my weak ass message, bro. Just one word, bro. Oh man, send that shit, bro. Don't tell me I can't send people messages no more. Did he report me for what? What did he report me for? Quitting? I ain't quit. <laughs> I'm here, cuz. If it don't go through, I'm gonna leave it because this shit loading on slow as hell. Nah, whatever. <sighs> nah, I was just hitting you and your shit, bro. That's all. Hitting you with the straights. And just go stay above you on points, you know. Why is that stuck on there? My game frozen. Gotta report you because you're out here quitting early. Not that you was good or nothing. You just a bitch quitting early and shit. Quit doing that, bro. Quit doing that. Why is that still on my screen? Seventy wins. All right, I gotta hit what? How I double my wins? That's seventy. I need what six more to be double. So whatever that is, what seventy five percent win rate or something like that. things of that nature. I don't know. <sighs> All right, what time is it? Definitely. What time the barbecue start, bro? Niggas don't. I never got like full out planes. Said I wanted my phone. Where my jet? It's in my pocket. Mm, let me let me check. Let me check the tube. The tube. Checking the tube. All right. True. Check. Okay. Checking. All right. Let's get back into it. Because ain't no fucking way. I done lost the 289s in a row. I'm ashamed of myself. I could have won that one, but they gave me one punch. That was dirty. That's dirty. That's dirty. All right, let's upgrade some more punches because ain't no fucking way. Let's get some of them uppercuts upgraded, cuz. He was eating them motherfuckers, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Fuck this shit, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Hey, that's my shit. He a mod if we take this fight. He a mod or a spammer, one of the two. I think I beat him before. Ah. What am I going to wear, man? It's like 70-something degrees outside. Don't know what I want to put on. I'm going to let you back out. Go on here, bro. Get out of here. Go on, get. All right, what can I do? Should I get some shit up to here? Buddy was spamming this. He had one punch on on one hundred. <sighs> yeah, I don't need that up there. I, I just box more. I don't need necessarily one punch, but yeah. 
I'm 86. No, you seen that little turbo thing? Like, he was getting counter animations, like, back to back to back. That was kind of crazy. That looked nasty, bro. That looked so nasty, bro. Because he ain't laying none of it, but it looked nasty. Like, it was going to be like... <laughs> like, how did you get counter animations that I'm really just standing there? You got, like, four of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore. Along. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. We always like setting up these broadcasts, Teddy, and giving viewers a chance to key in on one thing. What to look for in your fight plan. This fight plan, to you, comes down to his ability to do what he's trained to do recently, and that's throw the hook to the body. Yeah, exactly, Joe. It also comes down to the kind of person he is. You know, he's not afraid to roll his sleeves up. You know, just go to work. You know, be there for a good day's work. And that's part of the temperament, the mentality of a body puncher. Good job on the two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Banks is known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Customato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. It's kind of like having a military weapon. You know, you still need a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that way. Rock 'em, sock 'em robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. What an excellent two punch combo by bad intentions. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Forceful two-punch combo by Banks. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Round comes to an end. He got like weird. He a weird fighter. I throw a lot. Damn. Football players this week. There are many parallels to be made between the pro fight game and the pro football. Game. There are, you know, physical ones and emotional and mental ones. I mean, the physical ones are when I work with some of these behemoths, you know, like offensive linemen. They have to punch out, you know, with their arms. That was a nice one. I was very inaccurate there, elbows, Just like a fighter raising his elbow before he throws a jab, they lose the power. So you got to teach them to keep those elbows in, punch out without any telegraph, without any loss of power. And also, get those hands out at the right distance. If they're a little late, the big guy gets in on them. And now he can control him. And of course, the mental aspects of it, where they get into those dark rooms we talk about every once in a while, where they have to remember that they have control. They can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to think that you lose control of the choice, that your opponent's making the choice for you. No, that's not the truth. As if the right hand wasn't enough. How about that accurate left hook he just landed to the midsection? Great right was lined up, but he missed. Halfway through round number two. This animation kind of crazy. And that's what With that left hook. I don't like right it. Away after taking one. Nice work, the left hand to the head. That was a miss by bad intentions. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out. I know how I feel, so myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Banks combination punching is working well here. Okay, so how the fuck that straight miss? That was a counter. Very accurate two 
punch combo by yeah, that's crazy. Banks's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. A crushing two-punch combo by bad intentions. Good block by Baines. Little head hunting with the left. Come on, stay away. What a smart combination by bad intentions. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Two snapping jabs by bad intentions. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Blocks the headshot. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Oh, good looking two punch combination by bad intentions. Yeah, I ain't chasing you, bro. I don't got to. Start of round number four. What? To look at Teddy score. How you win that last Banks round, bro? He's been unable to pull away from his opponent so far. It's an even fight. Yeah, it is. And I think you just said it right. Unable to pull away. Whoever's going to pull away, if that's going to happen in this fight, it's going to come from the outside. Whoever starts to commit to that jab. Everything you do is backwards. Shot blocked. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Bro, why well, can't hit this man, bro? And it's like he gliding backwards, bro. Not on the front end, but on the back end. No, he missed that right. Look at his movement. Look how fast he is, look. Banks is at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Missed the target with that hook. Pulls damaged by a left hand. Caught your little cheating ass, you bitch. Slow down, bitch. <sighs> Shit is annoying. He's trying to just hit me and run. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He has found his groove with his right hand. Come on. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Banks' corner has been in positions like this with other fighters. And sometimes it doesn't go your way. He does. His movement is. His movement, especially when he back out after like a punch. It's too, he get too far. Look how far he just got. And it's too smooth because he backing out while throwing a punch. And I got actually got reach advantage. He got like 68 inch reach. Yeah, he's probably See? gonna need a little bit more down the road, but right now that's cool. He's not that good down. though. He's trying to rely on it too much.
see? When you get stuck in that counter animation like that, you stuck in it. You can't just back out that far like that. Hey, boss, I wasn't going to say nothing, but your movement a little too obvious. Your movement is obvious, bro. Even though it's not affecting the outcome of this fight. Turn your shit down, bro. It's up too high. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Stupid. You're not good enough, even though you're cheating. It ain't gonna work for you. You're a bad cheater, bro. <laughs> Bad cheating. Got your movement turned all the way up. <laughs> Committed to the combination punching now. Let's work it out. Come on. Top. Do better. Do better. Show me some. Comes right back <laughs> at him with a left hand. You gotta do better, boss. Banks is doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to well quit, how do I stop this? Well, right now, or yeah, keep you, fighting you with everyone good point there, entertainment. Right now, his opponent stream, is anyway. wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combination. <sighs> All right, y'all, he entertainment, bro. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. He got one round. I got five. All right, I got to secure some side, more rounds. Side, move your head. Side, side. Come on, man. Super two-punch combo by Banks. I'm up. I'm up. I'm just leaning on my straight, y'all. I don't got to land it a lot, but it's the highest scoring punch I got. And yet another right hand. I'ma right just hand. point him out. Left and right, left and right. I shake it off. Halfway through round six. Cole showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. A well placed overhand right. Cole's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do land punches and punches. The combination lands. Blocks away that headshot. Banks is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Can't get, can't get no counters. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Banks. Good block. Working our way towards the bell. Last ten seconds of the six. Can he make ah. predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Uppercut, out of boy. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Bad intentions is thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves mm -hmm. he needs to extend them just a on little the dead, bit. On the dead, on the dead fence. Quit playing with me, cuz. You know, I'm gonna force what up? Right through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to it. Yo, I pull up on my boy. Where you been at, G? I've been all right, bro. I ain't been too bad, man. Other than, hey, you know, keep your hands up. bad shit that happens to everybody type shit. But I've been straight, bro. How you been, my boy? Good 
good smooth work by Bang. See how trash he is? He turned up your speed yeah, just to be was stupid. He pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back. Can't play the whole game the going backwards. And then gave him the right hand. Let's move! Nah, the game ain't glitching right now. It's fine. It's smooth. His movement is. The way he moving is suspect. Oh yeah, man, I'll take some time off. The only thing still fucked up is my wrist, bro. I'm about to make another doctor's appointment. I might have to do like some physical therapy for that or something. Let's go. Bless is just a good solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kinks in the armor. Yeah, man. Namely that right hand over the jab. Man, life straight. I mean, shit. It's as straight as can be. Everything costs too damn much Bravo right now, but upstairs. it'd be like that. I like the way he went up top they want you to work so more. I ain't working no more, bro. <laughs> I'm work normal amount. I'ma just have to cut shit out. Like that. I ain't fucking up my work life so balance, far. man. Just based on his pure hand That's too speed. important, man. But I ain't, I wasn't born to work. Yeah, you know, you I wasn't born to work. I was born to live. That's different. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit. Right now, his opponent needs to change that landscape. Don't give him that racetrack. Step out of range a little bit and leave him there. Let him shadow box. I'm about to look those ass, a position bro. where he could be effective. <laughs> that straight right. Touch his bitch ass up. up. <laughs> bro, you have to score points to win rounds, bro. You doing the moonwalk ain't gonna help you. <laughs> you doing the moonwalk ain't gonna help you. I ain't about to chase you. I don't gotta knock your bitch ass out. I just whoop your ass. I settle for that. That's okay. That's all right. Now pay him back. Bad intentions is doing well here with that two punch combination. Gotcha. Ah, ah, tag, tag. Well placed left hand up top. Oh, no, I ain't slaving, no. Fuck that, bro. I just cut shit out, bro. Shit. All right, I don't need no more shoes, so that's about a couple thousand a month. I'm in mean, a year. I'm straight, bro. Shit, I ain't tripping with this shit. One thing I know how to do is live and have fun with limited amount of resources. That's how I'm raised, man. Shit be like that. And I make good money. I just spend it, done. I'm chilling, bro. I'm just streaming for y'all. Y'all just make sure y'all hit the like button y'all subscribe to the channel. That's all I need from y'all. As long as I got internet sticks to play this shit with, I'm playing, bro. I don't care about nothing else. Kids straight. They got what they need. We good. Keep swinging, baby. We good over here. I ain't the type to complain about shit. I know. <laughs> I know he might. That's why I'm fighting this way. He is. His movement. It's his movement. And he been throwing that power combo the whole fight. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Come on, little, little birdie. Don't run from me. I'm going to whoop your ass. Your ass is whooped already. Oh, too slow. Find the target. Get the combination working. Land both punches. Cole's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the I wonder how many people you done beat. is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. You're my son, man. I own you, bro. I own you. I own you. Nice little combo. You got one, finally. <laughs> it took you, it took you nine rounds. Like, let me take it from you. Let me get my points back. 
Good exchange. He fires back. Oh. Right. <laughs> Let me get my points back. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. Let me get my points back. Because you're stupid. Look. Oh, you got me with one. Alright, I gotta get two back. That is exactly that was a nice little stank ass uppercut. Let me hit you with something. Oh man, you probably stole that round. Damn you good. <laughs> oh, buddy trash, bro. But all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. A little head hunting with the right. That's good, good. Good job protecting himself. Work the body. Keep working the body. Holds so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. You see how far he get back? <laughs> he end up on the ropes when he back out. Up top. His That's crazy. It's just sublime. And his opponents cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you. Bad intentions is dazed after that punch. Big shot there. I told you it was my son. Get your, get your ass up, son. Why you falling down for? Get up. Come on. Come on. I ain't gonna show it to you three times. Even though I should, bro. Cheaters don't get respect on this game, bro. Because why you moonwalking to the ropes? Huh? Why you moonwalking to the ropes, my boy? Up from the I don't look right, bro. What we really want to look for is how I told you you got your shit turned up too high. Moments of this fight. Come on, don't run for me. How about that? Another right hand. Don't run for me. Bad intentions is able to avoid that punch. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Don't run for me. Relax, relax. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Cole's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Stupid bitch. I say it all the time. You never know what no you're cut. get in this sport. We never <laughs> thought this fight That's how you beat a mod that sucks. You like just come and just pepper him with a little punch. Little pepper him with some shit. Just little peppers. I just have to point him out type shit. When you point him out. They, they die. But he definitely cheating. Watch out for Buddy. If y'all ever see his gamer tag. That boy moonwalking in Calabasas. For real, real. Because how the fuck you going to the ropes on a back step hook and you got a, what, 70 something inch reach? Oh, yeah, I got the game, sir, bro. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's holding up, but this is the first time he's using it, too. You also got to let a month or two go by. But initially, yeah, this shit feel good, bro. The only thing that's different, it could use trigger stops, but I mean, it's a $40 controller. Trigger stops to put this shit over the edge. It's real light, so it kind of feels super cheap and hollow. But you don't got nothing clicking and shaking in the inside, so it's pretty cool. You got your headset integrated, like you can control your headset with the D-pad, and this button, uh, this button here, this, you can control like this and that. I can turn up the game sound, turn up like the group chat. It's decent, bro. It's decent, but I'll give y'all like a solid, solid review after like I give it a month, cause this is a cheap controller, so yeah, I cause yeah. As y'all can see, like the Elite controllers I was playing with, I just bought that one, the white one, and that motherfucker got stick drift in the ASAP, so. Yeah. Never fight a fake, a Mayweather face scan, bro. Them niggas different. 
<sighs> but yeah, I'll definitely let y'all know for real. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by GameSir, but I would love to. If y'all want to send me controllers, please feel free to. Game, sir. Come on. I will use all your shit. Cause I'm the real tester. I'm not going to lie. Fight night definitely will test your controller. Get one, man. Feel It's light. That's the only... Look. You can't be picky. But it's, it's very light. It's very light. It's lighter than the original controller that come with the Xbox. Yeah, they are. I just like the way they feel, and I like the trigger stops. That's the only reason I purchased those. I like the trigger stops. I ain't gonna lie. Everything else on the controller is really just a regular controller made with, with some metal components to make it heavier. Other than that, yeah, that motherfucker trash, too. Unless Elite Controller, y'all want to redeem yourself, feel free to send me any free controller merchandise, and I will review it on my channel because I play Fight Night, and that's like a uh, controller killer. It's just the nature of the game. It's a controller killer. This game is a controller killer. You can play any game, and you won't kill your controller as fast as you would if you're playing Fight Night. You either go fuck up the trigger, the bumper, you go compress the buttons, or you go have stick drift. You go destroy your controller playing this game. So if y'all want y'all stuff tested, please send it to me. Shameless plug. Feel free to sponsor. Y'all can sponsor a video and I'll torture chest your controllers. I'm just saying. I ain't even asked for no money on The products will be the payment type shit. Send me the products. And they come with this braided cord too. That's yeah, that's it's, it feel premium as hell, I ain't gonna lie. This white braided cord. Feel good. Feel good. Feel good. <sighs> we look the same. What's up, twin? Twin, where have you been? I think I beat dude ass too. Oh yeah, I beat buddy ass. This a rematch, G. This a rematch, G. Defense is paying off now. He's known for one thing power punching. Early on here, expect to see that, right, Teddy? Yeah, exactly. But it could backfire. You know, it could blow up in his face, too. If he doesn't land that big ball. Rounds hurt by that. Please. He got hit right there. Bro, I just hit you with three power shots and you ain't go down. Why you cheating, bro? <laughs> Why you cheating? <laughs> oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. This nigga cheating, bro. That's crazy. Three power shots and then go down. Come on. That's crazy. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Misses his opponent's headshot. Brown's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. He cheating, y'all. <laughs> nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. And he gliding, too. Way to block there. Final 10 seconds. Yeah, he definitely cheating, y'all. That shit crazy. I'm over this game, bro. He's going his way right now. He just got to his man in that last round, but he'd love to score a knockdown coming up here. But what he has to do is continue. Bro, I hit him with a power, another power straight to the face. Two power straights to the body. He did not go down. He got to grab me. 
Can y'all explain what, what just happened? What the fuck was that? I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round. Power straight. Power straight. Power straight. Carries that punch intended for the head. Power straight, that's four. Really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand. Banks is showing you a little Where's my counter? There as they'll move away from that punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Yeah, they cheating. They cheating. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Brown. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. They cheating. He just missed that shot up top. Banks is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. With the right hand. I like that step back. Where's my counter? To be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the They play on my punches, punches too. Doubles up the jab. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Brown. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Brown's able to land a nice, clean left hand. This should be stupid. End of the round here as we're <clears> ringside <throat> at our fight <throat> night venue. Of, of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We got to give credit to the crew. Yeah, they're still in for me. I don't appreciate it. Doing a nice job all cleaned <clears throat> up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air. It's not the fact that he a runner. He a cheater. <laughs> that make it worse. If you're watching this, just rewind to the beginning of the fight and watch it. You'll see exactly what I'm saying. I rocked him with a power straight, followed up with a power straight, and hit him with two power straights to the body. He didn't go down. He got to grab me. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but... Then I came out the next round. Hit him with five power straights in a row. Nothing happened. That's three already. Four. But this is part of having a good chance. Being able to recover after being shaken out. After the round before. Come on, bro. Fine defense right there. I love that block by Bang. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter. Punch. Yeah, that's the old catch with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your old. Wow, look at that training shots. He don't go down for nothing. Halfway through this round. Now a well-placed hook to the head. Brown's absorbing a left hand. Look at that. Come on. He cheating like a motherfucker, bro. Ain't no fucking way in hell. Ain't no fucking way in hell, bro. I hate this game with niggas on here cheating, bro. That don't make sense. I just had to hit this man with six straights in a row, bro. Three of them being power. That's crazy. Brown's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Well-placed counter punch by Banks. He missed that uppercut. And how's he moving this fast after getting up? How's he moving like that? He just got up. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Number One. When I say playing mods, you playing these mods, they be trash. And they mods keep them in fights. He shouldn't be here. 
He shouldn't even be here. He shouldn't be here. Well, if anything has been learned from the first three rounds is that sometimes just being the busier fighter will do well for you. And that's the case right now for him as he's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, not always landing a lot. You put it very well, Joe. Not always landing a lot. But keeping his opponent defensive and keeping him from doing what he wants to do. Brown's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands up. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting... Come on, bro. That's what I'm talking about. He just did it again. Right now is... Nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up. And bang. Lance flush with the combination upstairs. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. This game doing the worst. They doing me so dirty, bro. I ain't never went to nobody body that hard before. But the fact that I did and he's still standing, it's crazy. Legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Brown's making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. Ain't nothing stopping that straight. Good, strong combo. Brown swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Rounds hurt from that. Good flush shot upstairs. Look at that. And he crashes to the canvas once again. Got number four. What about this? Shit stupid. He just walking through me, bro. Cheating ass niggas. Rounds back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. <laughs> Scored well with the hook. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Banks has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Wow! You weak ass nigga. So we got up, man. I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. We on here trash as fuck. Playing like some hoes. Get your hoe ass up, nigga. I'm here cheating. Why are you cheating on the game, fuck? I don't know that he's gonna get the glory, but what guts to keep fighting here when he's damaged like this? Well, actually, Joe, too much guts. That's why the old stupid bitch. He don't got no cut. Nothing. Have a little fear in there. To know when you're in a bad place, to know when to grab, when to get out of there. 
Good block there by Banks. Really frustrating his opponent now. Banks so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Good combination to the head. Thought he had his target, but... Niggas ain't fucking with me for real. Fucking pussies. Are they gonna stop this? Should have showed it to him three times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, get up, bitch. He is hurt, but he keeps coming forward. Yeah, too tough for his own good. Rounds combination punching is working well here. How about a return to center with the left hand? showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all, and it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. Good biting, snapping shot by Banks. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. How about that exchange? A little one-two, jab, followed by the cross. And that's the end of round six. Banks has taken a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall, because I think now... I could have killed him right there. No, I'm about to play with this bitch ass. strong, evenly matched fight. Because why he still got stand? I think so, but... Seventh round, been eating his body up. to think that in his trainer. More importantly, you shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him. Hell no. Nah. His body should be cooked. Every time I touch his body, he should go. He should go down, bro. Say, hey, it's a dead even fight. Win the rest of these. I done hit him with at least a hundred power body shots. At least a hundred. We gonna see the punch. I want to see the punch stats. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink. But this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Banks supplying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed. Find something that can offset that speed. And I think that starts with controlling range. Get out. Round scored upon by a left hand. Another flush shot lands upstairs. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that if had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Banks' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Left hand comes home. Double jab by Banks. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? just got rocked and he's still taking punches the only way right now is to grab on a little bit stop this flow there's the old one two coming after him good clean shot returning fire well done by brown brown's effort has gone downhill here you can tell that he does not have the energy necessary to win. and yet another big shot comes in i ain't trying to knock him down I know where they got 
that saying, bowling like a scrub ass cheating ass bitch. I hate this nigga, man. I just hate him. Fuck him. I ain't gonna get my dub either. Watch. I don't give a fuck. I just like spitting on him right now. He a pussy. Guy 67 power straight to the body and land. With style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible. And How is he still it. fighting me back? Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. <laughs> Come on, quit playing. With us ringside. That shit was over early, bro. <sighs> that shit was over early. It should have been over in the first round, bro. Quit playing with me, puss ass niggas, man. All right, cheating and shit. Let's run through them, though. Did all y'all hit the like button, man? Oh, well, me. I have to hit the like button. Oh, yeah, niggas just hitting the like button, man. Seven niggas sub. Sub up, cuz. Should I fight this nigga? Fuck it. Let's get him. What is he supposed to be? Adrian Broner or something? Alright. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to box him out. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas. Welcome to you to Vegas. Where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of lightweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. The professional's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years. But tonight, he's bubbling with confidence. Can we fight, G? Ring walks have been known as Damn. circus spectacular. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good work defensively by the professional. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him. He threw it out. He is damaged <laughs> badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Banks. Watch out for that uppercut. To punch, to flat out put forth power. Good morning, G. Well, it's good afternoon now, gangster. But good weekend morning, you know what I'm saying? That's good morning for the weekend type shit. If he lands a punch and it doesn't get rid of the guy, well, what else can he do? What happens then? Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by the professional. Who the professional? Me? I ain't even a professional. So he definitely can't be a professional. All he doing is doing the lean with it, rock with it. Yeah, baby. Good work. Good work. Nice block by Banks. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Come on, come on. Good block there by the professional. A little defense oh. turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Looks to the head. Doo -doo, got my legs back, pussy. Uh, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. The countdown, the final I'm geeked as a bitch. I've been drinking, y'all. Don't mind me. I get real goofy. I think I'm sleepy, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> you, right? you been cooking? Oh, you on the grill? Hey, man, I'm waiting for the barbecue to start. 
I'm waiting on the barbecue to start so I can get up and get out of here. I'm damn near about to hop on the grill my damn self. Oh, nigga okay. shit. Them youngsters don't know about hopping on the grill, bro. I'm about to go on head to my guy house, kick him off the grill. I ain't gonna lie, I just feel like smelling like smoke all day. I don't know why. I'm old, man. I'm embracing it. I love this shit, man. Shit is fun. Life is fun, bro. I know what to care about, what not to. I don't be getting stressed too much. I've been stressed, though. Don't get me wrong, but nah. Life, life's good, bro. Life's good, bro. Round, coming off a round in which he really took some punishments. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before. And he's bro, what panicking. you want from me, bro? You sitting here lean with it, rock with it and shit. I'm just let your ass look stupid and just beat your face in. Yeah, you can do that all you want to. I'm going to do this. You gonna get tired of doing that eventually. You got, oh, I'm gonna hit you in your shit. Don't fuck up, little guy. Little guy, you fight like AB for real. You gotta let your hands go. Puss ass nigga. You gotta let your hands go, AB. That's why you been getting your ass beat. Look, stand back straight. You're you not good, bro. You should be ashamed. You call yourself a professional. I ain't even a professional. I'm dogging you out. Look. Well, you my bitch, and you my bitch, and you my bitch, you my bitch, and 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 you my bitch, but what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? Unable to make an impact. My bitch is my bitch. It can't be your bitch because it's mine, and he is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm, I'm decent at the grill, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm decent. I, I can cook. I can cook for real, though. That's the crazy part. I just don't be cooking. I don't be having the time. But I do. I cook. I don't know when the best time for me to cook when I feel like it, but I need to get on that grill. I'm about to go kick whoever on the grill off. Right, get off that grill, cuz. Scoot over, man. The professional's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. All, all that grilling just for me to eat like two brats and say I'm good. <laughs> I don't even be eating the shit. I cook it and just be like, all right. I just enjoy doing it, man. Oh, I'm crazy. This bitch ass nigga, bro. Side to side, okay? I want to see that shit move. Man, might as well, man. Go get you a couple steaks, some brock, some hot dogs. Get you a mini slab of ribs, bro. You done grilled. Hey, technically, you grilled. You cut the grill on. You done grilled, bro. And round number three is underway. Bro, trying to step back straight me so hard. Hey, right, bro, how you feel? Like, how you feel about this ass whooping? Because obviously, you only got one game plan. And I ain't gonna work well for you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Got my straight back. Got my. Now nah, I'm up a straight. Huh. 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 Hanks is doing well here with that two punch combination. Nowhere close that punch by Banks. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by the professional. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Good combination to the body. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Non-stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute is here. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. up 
along the belt line blocks that part. You a fuck around loser. Around you should be winning because you punching too much. To the head. Hit by a counter punch there. Let this nigga punch himself out a little bit. Whatever he misses comes. He only trying to catch me with a step back straight. That's his most lethal weapon. I don't know about that uppercut. Let's see the punch stats. I think I got him 2-1. Now I'm about to tighten up and just box the rest of the fight. Got to stop that head. There's about to be two rounds of body picking off, bro. It's, it's, it'd be like that. The professionals ahead on Whoa, he up two. How the fuck he up two rounds? First time here today. I'll Round take it. It'd be like that. Underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense I'm already up in this Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Good job, man. Now I'll go back in that corner. Go back in the corner, bro. That's how you won two rounds. Get your bitch ass back in the corner. I'm about to show you something. You don't want to stay in there now, huh? Fire that time. You only good if I throw. If I don't throw, you have nothing. Nothing. Nothing's coming. I'm just hitching, hitching your shit. Come on. Stupid ass. Try me. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Come on. What we gonna do? Niggas ain't good, bro. Nope. Not enough. Not enough. Come on. Y'all land. They both decide to bring it. Banks is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. The professionals showing us a great display of one of the best elements of the Nothing. Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your hands. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand. Hopefully he's been taught this. I'm good with that. Does. The body is stationary. Right in front of you. Right now his opponent I'm good with that. that head. He should be going downstairs. If this how we gotta play, this how we gotta play a big dog. I'm just pick his ass off. He don't got nothing. He don't got no offense. He wanna he wanna counter fish me. I fed into it that last round. He's a height. No, he trash, bro. <laughs> he trash. Now in what has been a closely contested fight, one of those he trash. fights that somebody is still waiting. Yeah, to at yeah, at least. And well, no, he might back. have some. I done hit him with some shit, but it's all right. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. He missed with that headshot. Gives one. The right hand scores well. Unbelievable work there, landing a four punch combo. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Able to dismiss that body shot. Halfway into round number five here. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Oh, and he's got something for him in 
himself, and it's a left hand. Comes right back with some That's offense of his own. Pay him back. Go pay him back. More than one punch downstairs. That could be damaging. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Banks is almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. The professional's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Spamming them uppercuts. He might have got me that one. Combination working uh. land both punches. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then oh boy, is it gonna be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mind. I don't know about the said it. I feel like he took that round. There's no way of all he got off on me with a couple straight to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy what you see is what you get and you're gonna get it the rest of the night in this round I need more than one punch now okay all right bet back to action here at the start of this round which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. The professional's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Good scoring counterpunch by Banks. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Fires right back at him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Banks is. Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open, and the horse is going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Banks. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Banks is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Why is Block blocking everything and he just holding it? He just holding the block button. He ain't even pumping it. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Yeah, he's tired. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep moving. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. I felt like that was my round. To the end of the round. Good job. Banks' corner knows the situation. Shit, he ain't land. I was land. Close fight. He was landed before. He was catching one, you know, look. So I said, I was getting back though. He ain't just landing, get off. It's either we traded or I'm up. Now we're about to see on these cars now. You need to capitalize on the thing. I want to see that counter walk. That's me. Man, you gonna get my shit copyrighted because you want to let the music play. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Mm -hmm. Not able to land the headshot. Banks has been doing a very good job landing that uppercut against his opponent. Teddy, if you're his opponent, you know that uppercut's coming. What should you be doing? Well, exactly. You should move your head a little bit. Slip a little bit. Let that uppercut miss you. And then there's going to be an open to counter right away. Fill that hole, probably with a hook. Missed the body shot. There's 
the combo downstairs. Able to block and counter back. Well off the mark by Bang. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Woo! You need to cover up there, okay? Hit me with a couple body uppercuts that time. All right, the car's gonna let me know what's going on. <clears throat> Keep your hands tight when you're up close. Rip those shots to the body. Then up top. You got his attention that round, all right? Now let's do it again. But you have to stay tight on the inside for him. It's an open. I think he's starting to get the message. Man, I'm a has been harping on him, and they were giving him sound advice because here at the start of I'm round number eight, you can see he's built a little bit of momentum on your scorecard. Yes, yeah, sometimes Joe, you're listening, but you're not hearing. Now it's starting to sink in a little bit because he's seen some of the benefits, some of the fruits to the labor. got in on him keeping his hands up getting rid of his opponent's offense the halfway point of round number eight fine work with the double jab downstairs Banks is doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together, this is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you come up the way that his opponent is, you're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked, but when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Come on, keep working the body. Keep working the body. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Just ten seconds to go in this round. Stupid. Can't win if you're on fight, bitch ass nigga. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights. One of those fights where somebody's getting you. Last round. Let's come on. Let's go ahead and take the round, bro. Well, no, it's the night. All right. Take this one. It's over for him. He's tired, too. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Two straight. Right, nice. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Go, go. The professionals on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Hey, Double jab upstairs. Come on, upstairs. Now, keep your feet Come oh, on, 
Five. 90 seconds into the ninth round. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Carries the punch, puts one in there. Keep that head. Is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. What? The professionals make it for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. I don't know. Banks' corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the school. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bank. Hit nobody with this thing. Keep moving. Let's go, hit Halfway through this tenth and final round. Right over for Buddy. I don't even gotta fight him no more. It's over. It's over for your ass, bro. Face yourself. Not precise at all by the professional. GG, you lost. <sighs> Easy, Doug. I won by a round, though. That's it. Bitch ass back. Bitch ass. Don't go jab me twice. So I don't gotta respond to that, bro. I hit you with four straights already. <laughs> Who could have hit me with a straight? So the final bell in a fight nobody thought they'd get the final bell. Uh, just like Rock and Sock and Robots early on. But uh, then all of guess what? They started boxing. Trash ass nigga. I told you I was going to be trash. Banks is dominating Damn. That was making it seem like we was tight. Teddy, we was not close. Weak ass niggas. That was trying to make it seem like the fight was close. What's wrong with them boys? That's it. He won. He won early. He won some rounds early. 29%, 36%. I'll percentage him the whole fight except for this round. What he land? No, nah, but I still landed more. What he land? Huh? I cleaned him up, I feel still. On his ass. Just on his ass, bro. He tried. <sighs> he thought he was winning. Crazy. I done had a couple fights like that when I thought I was winning, though. I'm surprised I didn't drop his ass, though. I didn't want to be overly aggressive. Because if me being overly aggressive was what's go was... <clears throat> if he was go win, that's how he was going to win. Just fish encounters. Don't let them fish no counters. Take the counters away. Just come one, two. In and out. Make them throw some. One, two, three. One, one, four. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Dude. You 
Y'all, he got a 0% do not finish rate. That reach almost at 80. We go, hey, we go try to. Dang, I've been playing for three hours? Hell no, man. Last fight, last fight, last fight. Last fight, last fight. Last fight blood. Let's make the last one the best one, man. Hit the like button and subscribe button if y'all haven't already. Yeah, let's get it. I think I played, bro, before. He gonna double up that straight eventually. Both lefties. Is dynamic, truly dynamic. The kind of stuff that could end this fight early on. Yeah, it is, but there's a danger to that too. If he doesn't land early on, if he doesn't have his way early on, maybe he gets discouraged. Yeah, baby, good, good, good. Targeting that midsection now with the combos. He got that Pacquiao straight. Another right hand. Protecting his head well with his guard. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Scores with the combo to the head. How is he hitting me with that? Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Solid left hand to the head. Good solid double jab. Uh -huh. Round comes to an end here and enjoy switch his stances, ain't it? Cause that shit come right through regardless. So let's go back to regular stance. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just pressure him and make him throw. Best thing I can do. Obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, athlete happens to be over a thousand pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter. Know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Close the gap, champ. Come on, shorten it up. Marvelous is being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. Keep working that jab, baby. Watch that. He comes right back at him with a left hand. Come on, stay away from those. Come on. Halfway through this round here. Marvelous is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good flush, straight left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And clicks of the talk. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of round two. Beautiful.
He fight like the last dude. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Bruh. Nice block by Marvelous. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Get him, get him. I should hit my glove. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Marvelous his punch is far off. How's that landing, man? Able to dismiss his opponent's shot. And then comes back with an uppercut. Marvelous is having a field day on the inside, putting a lot into that uppercut. Well, he's smart. He's, you know, part of being an effective good fighter is understanding what punch to choose from your arsenal. He's picking the right punch at the right time. Inside, the opening is there for that uppercut. Come on. Scored well up top. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. He just missed that shot up top. There he is working the body. In and out. In and out. Good exchange. He fires back. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Yeah, and this is tough fight, man. Three. Can't get through, really. Can't get through, really, and that straight is coming right through guard. <sighs> That Pacquiao animation a little different, bro. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one See? guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be in tight. Banks has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Oh. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Marvelous. Solid uppercut. How he throw a punch? Oh my god. That gotta be the craziest movement ever. He threw a punch. I pulled it. That's crazy. How you backstepping out of that? I'm slow as bitch eyes now. Exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Scores up top with a left. He missed with that headshot. He punches through power punches. That was my fault. I was tripling the power punches up. He was he just walking through. Him. He eating them. They ain't doing nothing. If you're not gonna work out in front. I was tripling up the power punch, so I threw it, threw it, threw it and threw it. I hit him with it the second time, but he didn't do nothing. See, that come right through. Fresh block is coming through every time. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, 
What are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch. See, now we can just go keep Don't spinning because he wanted to throw that lift. Think about the setup punches. Banks got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Bang. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Good two-punch combo by Baines. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus, folks. He digs in, Drunk, quit. We just figure some shit out. He don't like this. He don't like this. He can't throw that straight like he want to. He don't like it. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Ten seconds of this fifth round. Keep it going. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there. <clears throat> and the round comes to All right. It's going to look nasty. Oh, I'd rather not do this, but. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is so dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Hmm. Oh, he's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his... I don't know what to do now. Credit, but Hopefully, I can keep him plus and I can make him lose all that stand. That I'll take the side step. Marvelous Straight. as cheek nice. is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Yeah, he's sucking wind now. Hit, but he sends it right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. You working too hard. Right you working too hard. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, what an exchange! Banks' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Get your hands up. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Good job, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to land that so bad. Banks has got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counter puncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting. I'm cool to with that. In. See, to be a good counter puncher, an effective counter puncher, the guy has to come close to you, but his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving. It'd be like that. Pacquiao straight a cheat code. As far as like distance management is, that. he scored well after being hit himself. Marvelous is putting forth a little boom, 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 a three punch combination scoring. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And he returns on that exchange. Hey, 
You gotta stay with the agent, French, y'all. He got reach advantage, so. I'm really trying to take that straight away. That's why I'm circling that horse. How about that left hand? Marvelous is combination punching is working well here. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Banks. Banks has been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chase. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warm. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And now they're trading blows. <sighs> Come on, where my counter at? Don't steal from me, bro. It's hard enough for me trying to get these motherfuckers. He tied. Seconds remaining in this round. <clears throat> he gonna keep running from me. Comes to an end. Reason why he's landing because you're standing there in this. Almost done. Had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. Don't waste energy. But I want you to keep those hands moving. Marvelous has been making a point of working harder. He's the busier fighter, throwing more punches. And as we start round number eight, he's up big on Teddy's scorecard. Well, he's getting a little opposition. I mean, the other guy must have a big bank account or something. You know what the other guy's wanting should do? What? They should tell him that he just got a phone call from his wife, and guess what? All the money's gone. They got to create urgency. <laughs> all the money's gone. You know, something happened. Your account's are all zero. You better start fighting. Banks has got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. <laughs> Well off the mark by Banks. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Uppercut, come on, champ. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Banks. Not able to land the headshot. Doubling up the jab by Marvel. to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot you tired you tired corner has to keep him calm just gotta get to him cut that can send a fighter into fits yeah and a quarter man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline i mean that is the scary cut as you just said Oh, he hit me with hooks at the extension of my fucking straight. God damn. There he goes with the right hand again. Banks is left working well that time. Able to dismiss it. Marvelous his defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy. He takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Move, move, move. 
Oh, he's blocking everything. And he digs in with the jab, cutting down the tree there. Unable to connect by Bang. Damn, this punch is ain't doing nothing. Just like damn. Cut, and you can see blood coming from his mouth. I don't know if maybe the mouth he caused that, but the Bruh, bottom come line on. is that he kept on following that, and that can take away from his wind and conditioning. Bruh, come on, man. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Bang. Come on, bro. <laughs> this nigga's so tired, bro. He's so tired, man. He's so tired, man. He blocking everything still. That's the crazy. That's the craziest part about it. He's blocking every punch. Marvelous is in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Banks is in a much better place now. What a big. God damn. This shit's stupid, bro. This shit's stupid, bro. He's so gassed, bro. I don't make no sense. Down he goes, but he's gonna continue on beating the count. Great work offensively landing that. Bro, if he's tired, he's. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. fighter he is with this counter punch. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. He tried to hit. He did not see. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, <coughs> two, three, four. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. Darwin, that was a big shot that hurt him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Gray Maddox, the sinker ball. Two, Boy, it went down quick. Three, four, give it five. Who would have ever he, he thought won. with two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that they would go to a decision? This was a sure and steady effort by Marvelous tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout <laughs> or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessator. Thanks for being It'll be with like us, that. That was a tough fight for me to win. Might be mighty. Let's see. Yep. He was mighty. Didn't get the L. That's what happened when people ain't playing with honey. He wasn't playing with honey. It'd be like that. I ain't tripping though. I did my thing. I did my thing. I came back at the end. It wasn't sweet. It wasn't sweet. It definitely was a running ass bitch. So it'd be like that. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe button if y'all haven't already, man. <sighs> I'm about to shower, get dressed, and see what today holds for the kid, man. Till next.